It's me, Jeremy, from Not Gonna Wait That Shit Me. I'm back. So I am freaking back in my favorite hat and sweater that you guys always see me in. I literally just got back from the grocery store and I went on a little adventure. I was just going to Trader Joe's and then I decided, you know what, I've been dying to go to this Vietnamese grocery store that you guys have seen hauls that I've done before on this channel. But I haven't gone in so long because obviously I've been stuck inside. It is like 30 minutes away and I don't feel like driving downtown to go. Then I went, I got some cool stuff there and then across the street was a thrift store that I have always wanted to go into that just so happens to be closing. This is just a random ass haul because I got a lot of crap and I want to show you guys because I need some content because I haven't posted in a while. So I'm back. Here we go. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and start out with this thrift store stuff so I can move on to the food. This. I didn't need, honestly. But it was so freaking cute and cool. And I was eyeing it as soon as I went to the store. I also flipped it around and you could see that the price was $5.95. Literally almost everything in the store was like half off. So this was like $2 and some change. I had to have it. I've gone to Spain before and this reminded me of like flamenco. It also reminds me of like Day of the Dead. I don't know, I might just have a little dress up Halloween party and watch some movies by myself with my man at home because Quarantine. Also, the other reason why I've been going to thrift stores is because I want Halloween decor, so I did find some. Before we move on to that, I got another hat. I've been wanting a hat like this for so long. I don't know what you call these hats. They're like, you know, like those military style paper bag boy hats. Tried it on and it fit my big ass head. I think they're super cute, especially just for like my style. I will say that one was pricey though, but he gave it to me for like 10 bucks. These babies are right here. I just love old Halloween stuff. I'm not buying any like new Halloween decor. I'm literally trying to thrift everything. He sold me both of them for a dollar. They were like three dollars each. And go to thrift stores guys, like there's no reason for us to buy new products. Let's be a little bit more sustainable. This one he was selling for $4.95, but I got it for two dollars. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's on like vintage wood. And it has these three scary looking pumpkins. I'm obsessed with that. I love how they're painted. I love how vintage it looks. I don't know where I'm gonna put this because I already bought a door hanger for it outside, so we, sh we shall see. My mother used to collect Betty Boop. She ended up selling it all when we were in high school. She no longer has them, but you know, like something so iconic for me, like something that my mom was obsessed with, with that I loved when I was younger because I just thought she was badass. And again, like, it might have like this really sexist, backstory but still women are sexy and they can be badass and do all the things while looking sexy it also has coke on it coca-cola and i thought that was like super cute so i got this this one was 17.95 i want to say he gave it to me for like five dollars i'm gonna put this in my office next to my little ceramic pikachu and i'm so excited i just love antique stuff so that was very random. Anyways, let's move on to the food. So I went to the Vietnamese grocery store. I will link it down below if you guys are in the Memphis area. Go check it out. They are freaking amazing. They have so many cool things that you normally will never find in regular grocery stores. To start out, we got some vegetarian oyster sauce. Basically the same thing as regular oyster sauce except that is made with mushrooms. Next up, we have some lemongrass. But guys, it is actually chopped up for you and it has chili in it, which I'm so excited. As you guys know, I am obsessed, literally obsessed with lemongrass tofu, which is the reason why I went to the grocery store that has all this tofu because I wanted some lemongrass tofu, but I wanted to make it at home for cheaper because honestly, I've been spending too much money every Friday. It's been my quarantine tradition to get lemongrass tofu and I don't want to spend money on it anymore. Even though I love it, it is my addiction. I'm going to make it at home, but lemongrass is so hard to cut and like super grainy. So I wanted to get it just already made, already frozen, and then I'll use the container for other things. Next up, we got some basil. This is basically Thai basil. I, I never use it. I never use it. I always buy it and it always end up going bad. So I'm going to try to like wash it right away. I'm going to put down in the fridge what I'm going to actually use for like spring rolls and ramen and the rest of it I'm going to mince. I always say I'm going to do it but I never do it but this time I'm going to put it in a blender I'm going to freeze it and it's going to last me forever. Your boy needs to stop wasting money. On to the items that we came here for. Fried freaking tofu. I'm going I'm to come, come close to y'all so y'all can see this goodness. So tofu at the restaurants like Vietnamese restaurants that I go to they fry them and they just have this crispy Consistency when you take a white block of tofu that you get like at Walmart or those other grocery stores It's not gonna get to this I don't know what the magic to make this happen is but I can't do it 
And I've tried all the methods. I've looked at all the YouTube videos and recipes online. I can't get it to be like this. I don't know what it is, but this is different. It's fried tofu. You can fry a block of tofu that you can get at the regular grocery store, but it ain't gonna be like this. This is regular. This is lemongrass. Put this in the freezer. Make sure you store it properly because if you store it like this, it's gonna go bad. But I ain't stopped there, guys. I got me some more. I got some more fried tofu, guys. Just authentic Chinese fried tofu. It's like blocks of like rectangular shaped ones. And then this one is just bigger rectangular shaped ones. But they delicious. You put this on a pan with a, like a sticky sauce. You gonna thank me later. Stop eating that white tofu that you buy at the store because it's boring already. You wanna get yourself the good stuff, honey. I had gotten a really big ass yuca. I mean, like it was the size of this, maybe a little bit bigger actually. And it was so heavy and I was just like, you know what? Jeremy, you're not in the mood to peel nor cut some yuca. So we went to the freezer section, honey, and we got some frozen yuca that's already peeled and ready to go. All you do with this is boil it, add your aceite de olive, oliva, your onions, your garlic, your salt, pepper, whatever else you want to add to it. You got yourself some yuca. And the last reason that we went to this Vietnamese store was for this right here. The only place that I can find these vegan meats at in your life. We got some vegan citrus riblets. We got some vegan barbecue pork. We got some vegan lobster sticks. What I'm gonna do with this is make some crab wontons. And the last one, we got some drumsticks. I'm gonna cook this today. I'm gonna cook one of these today. Don't know which one, but we gonna cook one of them. All right, we got our last two bags of Trader Joe's. Let's hurry up and speed through this because this video is getting too long for me, honey. First things first, we got some corn. This is the roasted corn. I've always wanted to get this, but I've never gotten it because I'm like, I can roast my own corn at home, but I've tried to do it on the stove and it doesn't work the same like if you were to do it like on a like cast iron skillet or like a barbecue or something. So I'm hoping that's what this tastes like. Persian cucumbers. I'm really trying to eat healthier at home. So that's why I'm getting like a bunch of vegetables and stuff, but you know, as healthy as one can be. Some tofurkey, I get like two of these every like three weeks cause I just love them. I eat sandwiches all the time. I'm definitely a sandwich kind of guy. So those are amazing, but I go through them so fast. Picked up this chicken because I'm starting a new Puerto Rican series on my channel. Okay, this is something that I've never actually really eaten in my life, but I have eaten fig newton bars and I just bought some vegan ones from Trader Joe's, but they're figs. I see people eating them on Instagram. They look good. And you know, I'm always trying to expand my palate. This next thing is a newer item, I believe. So it's spicy cashew butter dressing. And I just love dressings, honestly. Like, I just like to have them in my fridge. You can use them for salads, obviously. They're also to like marinate vegan meats and tofu. You can add them to rice. You can add them to whatever you want. And they're just a good staple to have on hand. This is cashew butter, lime juice, ginger, cilantro, and red chili peppers, which sounds super delicious, a little bit spicy, and I love cashew butter. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Next up we have these vegan turkey protein patties. I tried the protein patties from Trader Joe's when they first came out, the regular ones. I believe I made a video about that on my channel. You guys can check that out. I don't like to buy stuff that only has two patties because me and my man, we like to eat sometimes. And so like one patty don't do nothing for us. We got some lentils. Guys, I love freaking lentils. I always see this at Trader Joe's. I never buy it because it is pretty pricey. It's like $4. I love brown lentils because I like to add them into salads lately and they're so delicious. I prefer brown lentils over any other lentils. These just, I swear to you, just have a nice amount of protein and taste. Next we have this romesco dip. I'm gonna get close because I don't think this camera's picking up the text for you guys. But basically that's what it looks like. It is vegan. It's probably one of the few vegan dips that there was that I can find that wasn't hummus or guacamole. So my friend is moving to Germany. I went to go visit her the other day. She gave me a bunch of food from her pantry. And so your boy got some crackers that needed some kind of dip. And so I found this one. I was like, this will go hand in hand. I'm so excited because I really want to eat those crackers, but I needed some kind of dip. But I just, I don't really want hummus or guacamole. I want something new, exciting, that's not boring, so. This is something that I never get from Trader Joe's or any other kind of store. I never get any kind of salads or like 
ready-made foods because they go bad so quickly. I also am eating at home every single day. I don't really need a reason to buy like pre-made salads or lunches because if anything, I'm just gonna go to a restaurant getting my lemongrass tofu that I like to get. I wanted to be a little bit healthier, also need some kind of meal prep. And this is a legume and spinach salad with a bunch of stuff in it. Sweet potato tortillas. These are so freaking good to eat with guacamole. I didn't get any guacamole because I have avocado in my fridge already. I got this with my mom a very long time ago when she came to visit me, maybe like two years ago. I fell in love with them. They're so freaking delicious. I love sweet potato because it's like sweet and savory at the same time and that's exactly what this bag of tortilla does for you. I didn't get myself too many sweets because I am trying to be healthier like I said, but still we need to treat ourselves because we are stuck inside. So ain't no bakeries or anything close in my proximity that I can go and run to and get me something when I am craving it. So I need to have it at home in order to do that. So I got me some vegan brownie crisp from Trader Joe's. If you've never had these, they're basically like a cookie brownie cracker thing that is so chocolatey and so good. Along with that, I also got these Fig Newtons or Fig Bites. These are really good. They basically taste like Fig Newtons if you are into that kind of stuff. Highly recommend that one because it is all natural. It's made with Turkish figs. Super good. For some reason, my camera not focusing on the, on the words. Here we go. Almond cashew beverage. Beverage. It's basically milk. Let's be real. But basically, it's a chocolate milk made out of almonds and cashews. This is so good. I remember posting it a while back and my friend from Instagram told me that her husband used to work at Trader Joe's and that supposedly this is seasonal. Um, I feel like it might be true because I haven't seen this in a while. I've also not been to Trader Joe's in a long time. So I don't know. If you work at Trader Joe's, let me know. But basically, this is super good. I love it. You guys know I have a chocolate milk obsession. I forgot that I got these, but basically they're sea salted potato chips. They are Trader Joe's Pringles. Let's be real. Usually it's at nighttime when I'm editing a video that I want to go grab a salty snack, so that's going to come in handy. I got two kinds of salsa. This is salsa verde and then also chunky red salsa. And I'm partnering with a company to do a giveaway, most likely. Um, and they make like beans and stuff. And so I'm going to make a recipe with that. And then also I'm going to be using this one for my tortilla chips tonight with a movie, maybe a Halloween movie, because it's super windy. Like, I want to show you guys. I'm not going to show you guys. But basically, it's super windy, gray, and rainy outside. Perfect Halloween weather, even though it's still August. I got my favorite olive oil, because um, I was running out. And then also, my last two items, finally, the mango juices that I always get. I love me some mango juice. Thank you so much for sticking it through if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, being patient with me. I promise I'm back, guys. I'm gonna be more consistent. I have been trying to figure out a schedule with my art stuff, my food stuff, my full-time job, all my side stuff. It's, it's, it's a lot, but I, I'm making it happen. So I'm back. I'm gonna try to post videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. That is my aimed schedule for now. So we shall see what happens. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. Join the familia. Also be sure to check out all my social medias out and my website. It's always the same. At La Comida Jeremy, La Comida Jeremy .com. I am updating like every other day, boo-boo. So don't miss out. Let's stay connected. Welcome to the fam. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Y los quiero mucho. Ciao.